October 5th, 2015. Uh, trade recap for the day. You know, kind of an annoying day, but um, I guess that's ha what happens when the S&P just grinds up, 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 and you're a short seller. So, um, I had some small winners, some uh, small losers. Let's run through them. Uh, I mean, overall, I mean, it's it's an okay day. I lost a couple hundred bucks. So, what I, you know, uh, that is, it's kind of like the the singles and doubles theory of, of you know, even, even if you lose, you you keep them small, okay? You 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 got take your small losses on days that the market goes up and up and up, and you know you come back the next day, you get it all back because of the fact that you didn't give up the big loss, okay? So you could sit there and give away a couple hundred bucks here and there and be fine as long as that's all you do. So our jet was today, you know, I said I wanted it in the six twenties and six fifties, so I waited for six twenty and six. 40s, you know, I didn't wait all the way till 650. Waited all day, then it, it, you know, it just got to the end of the day, and I'm like, man, this thing isn't working. So, covered, you know, okay, cover. Now it's fading a little bit. I mean, it's a few minutes before the close, but again, you know, I traded my plan, and and, and this thing is up for a long time. I mean, you look, and there, I mean, sooner or later it's gonna pull. Today wasn't the day. So, um, so again, I tried it. I, I lost, you know, 10 cents, you know, big, big deal. So, uh, pack B, this was probably the most disappointing one. Um, I, I had shorted at this, uh, right about the six level. I kind of waited for it to come back. You know, I didn't chase in the morning, which I'm glad I thought about it, but I didn't let it come back. Let it bang around a little bit. It faded under six, came back, I added which is an okay ad, and then again, just kind of banged around, banged around, banged around, and the market was up, up, up. Again, urgh, this thing's fading right now, but, you know, I covered here at, at 615, so uh, this one, you know, I made a couple hundred bucks, but, you know, when it's not going to crack that $6 level, you know, it held that all day, you know, 66666, so it's like, oh, well, um, it's a you know it's gonna be a recurring theme today of oh well so BCEI I uh, you know pre market I said I wanted this at six shorted it a little below six after it kind of put in this top now this one I let work against me a little bit I mean I did cover it six twenty five or somewhere in there but um you know I, I kept waiting just kept waiting for a market pullback it never came I never had any big size on this so. Lost a couple hundred bucks, so so now you know we're, we're we lost, we won, we lost. You know it's back and forth. Fold. Uh, I, I I like this trade. I had um, you know shorted right at seven. It banged around a little bit. It faded pretty much all day. I, I kept waiting for six fifty to crack. It didn't. Came back a little bit. It covered at six seventy. So I'm plus thirty cents on that one. Not a bad trade. Not a bad cover. You know you, you can see I covered here. It, 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 it's 670, 660s. It spiked all the way to seven. You know, I'm surely you're gonna panic into that. And even though it pulled back a little bit, it's just, you know, the shorts just aren't working today. And then uh, CTRV. I, I tried this just kind of on a lark into the close. You know, uh, I, I think I lost five cents on it. Um, shorted it like 434. Covered it at 439, I think. So it's like, I just was a little frustrated from today. And I just kind of felt like, okay, this thing could crack. So it didn't. I covered. It's spiking now. You know, good cover. Ideally, this will probably be my number one watch for tomorrow. Hopefully, it you know it, it spikes up through five and, and get a good entry there. So all in all, you know, days like this are frustrating, but it's part of the deal. It just, you know, again, I, it was it was death by a lot of cuts today, but but nothing killed me. You know, nothing was was crushing. It was just, I mean, it's frustrating to have you know three out of five losers, but you know, I I was probably over trading, but part of the frustration. But again, you know, SPY, what's it? You know, it's getting close to making new highs here into the close. 
you know, it, it, it's just it's it's tough as a short seller. Um, we'll we'll see how things play out tomorrow. And, you know, I feel good about tomorrow. I, I mean, I mean, I traded my plans today, and sometimes those plans don't work. I didn't do random things, except for maybe that CTRV at the close. But again, it is what it is. So uh, not much to report, but there you go. Thanks.